Miranda Devine's a New York Post columnist. Miranda, how do they continue this illusion of a defense? <laughs> Look, Jesse, I think you laid it out really well there, and you can see from these excuses and this gaslighting that they're attempting that they must be pretty desperate. Uh, obviously, the White House and Joe Biden, who's scurried away to Rehoboth Beach so that nobody can ask him any questions after Devin Archer's devastating testimony, um, it shows that they are worried and they don't really have a defence. So all they can do is treat the public as if they're idiots and that they're not really paying any attention and just try and tell you that what you're seeing and what you know is so obvious is not true. Um, you know, as if Joe Biden uh, is going to get on the phone and talk about the fine details of a deal or how much money he wants to go into what bank account. That's not the way influence peddling works. It's all about Hunter Biden showing to these, you know, foreign oligarchs, these Ukrainians, these Chinese billionaires, that he can get his father, the vice president of the United States, on the phone at any time to do whatever he wants. And that's all. It's just a demonstration. And Joe Biden knows that full well. He got introduced to people on the speakerphone. As you said, I mean, he sat in Cafe Milano at least twice at two dinners that Devin Archer witnessed uh, with Ukrainians and Kazakhstanis and, uh, and Russians who were showering uh, Hunter Biden with cash, with millions of dollars, diamonds, you name it. And uh, they knew what they were buying, and it wasn't Hunter Biden's brilliant legal acumen. It was his access to his father, and that's why Joe Biden showed up. And Joe Biden, you know, he's a creature of the swamp. He has been a senator in Delaware for more than four decades. He was, uh, you know, very much aware of what was going on. He knew exactly what Hunter was doing. Hunter was his bag man. Hunter was supporting the family. Hunter complained about that bitterly on numerous occasions. Yeah, I mean, so you're not curious. No one buys it. You're not curious how your son yeah. has millions of dollars and he has a cocaine addiction, and you're not at all concerned about where the money's from and how the money's being spent? Sure. Now, Miranda, you now have Democrats admitting Hunter committed a felony. It is illegal to be a foreign agent. You can't represent foreign nationals and then put them on the phone with an American politician. They're, they're basically admitting this is a foreign lobbying scheme and that Joe Biden is an accessory to the foreign lobbying scheme. <laughs> and now there's $50 million in bank accounts and they're chasing down offshore accounts. I think they don't even realize how serious this is. Do they get how serious this is? Oh, yes, they do. And that's why they're going to so much effort to pretend that, you know, Joe Biden didn't speak about anything. He just talked about the weather as if that makes any difference, as if that alleviates the problem. Um, no, it's obvious to everybody what's going on. They are very concerned and they're even more concerned, I think, about what else is coming down the pike. What other whistleblowers, what other former business partners of Hunter Biden will be spilling the beans in the not too distant future? Um, this is very damaging for Joe Biden. And I think uh, your comments about the Trump indictments always seeming to coincide with some embarrassment, some uh, allegation, some evidence coming out that's very damaging to Joe Biden is spot on. Um, this has become just the ugliest tit for tat. There's a window where Republicans have to exploit. These Trump trials aren't going to be until next year. They got to get back from vacation in mid-September and they have to fast track this impeachment inquiry because they have to tee up the impeachment itself and get that moved into 2024. Because once you got all these Trump trials next year in election year, that's all the media is going to cover. And they're not going to cover yeah. anything about Joe Biden. You got to squeeze this in now. It's that important. All right, Miranda, thanks so much. Check her out at the New York Post. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.